This is where I live. The courts put me in a locked facility for a year and a half. No, no, wait a minute. Here and we go. Then, wait a minute, we gonna fix this. And the courts the put courts. you in a lock facility. Yes. They just picked you up off the street. No, I was, I was, I was, I went there from jail. For? For uh, petty theft with a prior. In 2010, Maya says she was arrested for theft and sent to jail. Her stepfather, Alice, asked the courts to move her to a mandatory mental health facility where she spent a year and a half. Now, Maya voluntarily lives at a residential treatment center in hopes of transitioning to living on her own soon. I want you to be clear about this. The courts didn't put you here. I this myself. was an alternative right. between to... jail right. and moving forward with your life. Exactly. You got to get that. OK. OK, because you're not a victim of the courts. OK. OK, because they didn't just pluck you off the street and throw you up in the sober living house. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this is your? This is my living area. We but have, you live here alone? No, we have four women in the house. Oh, OK. And um, this is our basic living room. OK. We have to do chores. We have to wake up every day and go to groups. How is that for you? How is that for you? It's I mean, hard. Tell me why. It's hard because we got a medication that we take every day, and the medication slows you down. Why are you taking medication? I have bipolar disorder. And it's a piece of my life I want to work with, that it doesn't consume me, that it doesn't take over my whole life. Oh, it has taken over your life. But it has. It has taken over your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. Dumb bitches that never want to your raggedy ass. Maya's rock bottom moment was 11 years in the making. After acting out on set in 1998, Maya was diagnosed with bipolar disorder a serious mental condition that causes shifts in people's behaviors and moods. Two years later, she gave birth to her daughter, Elisha, but Maia refused to take her psychiatric medication and eventually lost custody. Maia started using drugs heavily and said she ended up arrested and in jail over and over. So you were doing drugs, you weren't on your meds, you had a disorder, your marriage fell apart. I was torn apart due to the custody battle of my daughter. Who were you in battle with for your daughter? Um, with my ex-husband. You gave it to him Basically, or the courts gave it to him? The courts gave it to him in a quick custody battle. I remember, however, your mother telling me that she had to come and rescue your daughter from your apartment. It was not a rescue. I okay. mean, she what was, was there with me and everything. We were together, but she did come take my daughter away from me. And how old was she? Um, she was about one or two at the time. Can you be OK with the fact that when your daughter was one or two, you hadn't accepted your diagnosis, you weren't on your meds, and perhaps the way you were living was not healthy for your daughter. Right. Can you accept that? Yes. So then why would you say, my mother took her away? She took her away. Did she take her away or did she take her to safety? Um, she took her to safety. Yeah. But if you hold it in your heart, as my mom took my daughter away, you're not going to heal that. Can you see the difference? Yeah. 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 She took her to safety. Yeah. 